I like to talk about those some of those times where the yielding isn't always so easy or maybe it doesn't happen. And we realize it. Oh, I wasn't yielding. This is the human experience, eh? I feel that if we're always trying to be perfect, it's we're not truly living. We have to acknowledge our humanism. I recently had realization around this. I've been, um, you know, diligent of recent responsibilities that I stepped into, I took on because it was needed. It was it was needed. It would seem like it was mine to do. And my humanism really tried to do its best, right? <laughs> Thinking from this level, not open to what wisdom wants to come through. That chant that I offered is a calling. Hey, ho, my grant us the hidden wisdom from above. And you always say it three times. You always say any Hawaiian chants three times. But what? What's your touchstone? That's mine. I'm not trying to sell my Hawaiian culture. I'm also Filipino, Portuguese, and French. I'm a mutt. <laughs> I'm very proud of that. But the Hawaiian culture is a touchstone for my humanity to open up. Like, it is not this human body. It is what's coming through. It's the experience. The angel. That we have the opportunity to experience through these capacities and with each other and in our world. In my reflections, I realized that I was receiving, almost grabbing for, <laughs> more than receiving, grappling for support in ways that were untrue for what was longing to be born. You ever done that? You ever looked at a situation like, wait a second. Yeah, I thought I was doing pretty good. That was, that was the best I could do, but actually we can do better. And in this situation, I realized, wow, if I do change this, there's going to be more on me. And then the humanism is like, no, no more. We can't handle it anymore. <laughs> the risk manager is like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Because if we're not allowing the truth, the true wisdom to come through, then it's never going to come through. Then what's really wanting to be born is never going to come through. Then everything in the earth is going to be hard. And eventually blow up. In David's piece, in that place in the doorway, we touch the wonder and the glory of the source of love itself. And the power of the universe that moves planets and stirs the human heart, moves planets and stirs the human heart. Do we know this? Do we really truly know this? Or is our human capacity saying we're small, we're little, we're on this planet Earth, or we're having to do that? You know, no, are we living into the largeness of our being? The power that stirs the planets and the human heart. There's a wisdom that's available to us there, a constant knowing of something that is leading us intelligently into greater and greater life. Greater and greater life. Putting aside, not trying to diminish it at all, my fears. And while staying open to what's wanting to come through. Another touchstone for me is the word aloha. Yes, hello, goodbye, love. Yes, there's so much to that. I've also spoke about ha, ha, aloha, the birth of life. Alo, the exchange, the exchange of the birth of life through our bones. And yet there's so much more too. And we all have teachings, I believe. We all have things that we can touch to, touch into. Love has so many dimensions. 
it is the expression of that cosmic power that animates planets and our hearts. So I close with this. Aloha Akua. Aloha Kanaka. Aloha Aina. And Aina is land, but so much more. What is below, above, in the middle, and below. Thankful to be in this opportunity with you.